Hey, you beautiful lot. Right, Sunday chill this week. Slightly different, it's Halloween weekend, so we all got an extra hour in bed this, this morning, which was nice, I have to admit. And as it's Halloween weekend, I'm going to use the last of uh, this bottle of black arts that I've got. I do love the pentagram. Actually, this is by far, even to this day, still one of my favorite whiskies. And I'm pairing that with a Monte Cristo 85th anniversary. This is a new cigar for me. Got this from Rare Cigars UK. You can find him on Instagram. Tell Lewis I said hi, and you never know, he might be a good deal. Who knows? He has some amazing stock. You should really check him out. First time I've had an 85th. I've had plenty of the uh, Monte Cristo 80th anniversary editions. I always thought the 85th looked just a little bit, well, almost like half the cigar, really. Chris. These are the two side by side. So that's the 80th and that's the 85th. So you can sort of see by the ring gauges how I thought, well, this is to me technically. A much better cigar because it's you get more for your money essentially. Also, they are bloody amazing. Quite a bit of hay notes in that. It's not got a lot of flavour to it at the moment, if I'm honest. It's a little bit. Hmm. Excuse me a minute. Quite a few floral notes in that. A bit of grass, more so than hay. So that sweeter side rather than the, the dry side. Okay, so far that's not too bad. Burn's not brilliant, I will say. Oops, my bad lighting, no doubt. But anyway, I'm pairing it with a Black Arts as it's Halloween weekend. That's a lovely, lovely drink. My wife bought me a first bottle of Black Arts for my 40th a few years ago, obviously, and I've had quite a few of them since then. It is by far and away my favorite whiskey from Brook Lally. I'm gonna smoke it down a bit more and I'll get back to you. Into the second half, almost getting into the last, well, definitely about halfway through the second third anyway. A little bit disappointed. If I'm totally honest, sorry, Lewis. Um, but yeah, I think I was hoping for more, like I get from um, an eight year, I guess, or even the 520, that have a lot more of a punch. It's got some nice flavors to it, but it isn't quite what I was hoping for. I don't think it warrants the price point, which is a shame. I mean, it's a good cigar in its own right. It's very well balanced. You can retrohale it beautifully, which shows it's got some decent age on it. Just not quite good enough, I think, which is a bit of a shame. It's probably the, one of the first Monte Cristos I've had that I've actually gone, yeah, I'm not fussed about. The whiskey, that though, that's very good. That is still, <clears throat> that is definitely still a very good whiskey. Hopefully everybody's having a very good Halloween weekend. Have you got any plans for this Sunday evening? Obviously Halloween's actually tomorrow on the Monday, which is the 31st. Hopefully you've got something nice lined up, some parties to go to. But uh, yeah, hopefully this coming week is a good one as well, and I shall catch you on the next video.